Today I decided I'm going to do a tissue box for St. Patrick's Day because I've really enjoyed my Valentine one. So I thought I'd get ready for St. Patrick's Day and I've got a variety of green papers. This is a particularly nice one that has a variety. And I've got some stickers that I purchased over Amazon. Some brushes, green paint if I decide to use it, gold coins, a few glittery uh, shamrocks, of course, Mod Podge, and I've got a couple of different kinds of green ribbon, a little bit of white in case I decide to use some ribbon on it, and of course, a blank wood tissue box cover so and scissors I don't think I'll need anything else but as I work we'll figure it out I'm going to start by turning the box upside down on some green colored paper and I'm going to trace around the hole trace around the top and Mod Podge after I cut it, Mod Podge it into place. As you can see, I've traced the top of the tissue box and the circle. Now I just need to cut them out and then I can Mod Podge them to the top of the box. Before I Mod Podge this cut piece of paper on, I've decided to do a light, or well, a green wash over the entire box so that if some of it doesn't go perfectly it'll still have some green in the background and won't be so noticeable. Can I say sometimes it's just not perfect. For the wash I'm going to use a green and add some water to make it fairly runny and just put a light coat over the entire box. As you can see, I've got a little pad of green and I've put about double of that in water and I'm going to mix it all together and apply it to the box. When applying a wash, it's also a good idea to remember to follow the green of the wood because a wash allows the wood grain to show through, which adds some extra texture, which I really like. Once you've applied a coat to all of the edges <coughs> and surfaces, you need to let it dry really well before you start to apply anything else because you did water down the paint and it has to dry. Once you've applied your decor to all of the sides and the top, give it a generous coat of Mod Podge to keep everything in place. As you can see, it, the Mod Podge is all dry. Tissue box is in the container. Has four different sides from which you could choose to display it. I decided not to use any of the ribbon. I just used stickers and then used Mod Podge to fill everything in place. So fun, ready for St. Patrick's Day.